gang, the Europa journey is continuing. Welcome back, Villarreal versus Valencia. That's us. Hello then, folks. Welcome back to an episode of Glory Hunter with me, that's Benji FM. Good to see you. You can see there then, recent results have been... Well, good and... Uh, we'll start with the... Uh, shall we? The home game against Getafe. Nil-nil. Not great, but a clean sheet. I mean, we'll take the clean sheet, I guess. Cadiz was a 1-0 victory. And uh, in terms of La Liga then, it's a little bit hairy. We're still in sixth. It looks like Europa League qualification is a must. Or is, is not a must, but is looking likely to happen. Um, so if we fail this time around, viewers, at least we've got a backup plan. At least we've got a backup plan. <laughs> But for uh, Villarreal today then, uh, we see there Mallorca in the centre, we're not going to play them uh, today, we're going to focus both on the Villarreal games and see how we do. The league very much a secondary thought at the moment, especially as we're sort of safely in that fifth, sixth position, so uh, hopefully you understand that and we're, here we go. I'm feeling good today viewers, I don't know if you can tell us, there's a lot of energy in the room and I've got a lot of that energy. Alright, let's get Brian on. The, how do we start, Brian? Maybe we start Brian out there. I've got Jacobo, or not probably not Jacobo, probably Jacobo, uh, Roman, who is going to be one of the best young players in the world, who is 16. And I kind of want to start in this game, although he's not played too well for me in the league. So I'm going to have to start with Brian and maybe bring him on late doors. The reason for this, of course, um, as it's always the reason for this, viewers, is that Emdal uh, is injured because he's always injured. So he can't play. Groin strain, can't play. He's also suspended anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, and won't if you be back for the, the next one. So he's out of today. Rios in goal then, Vargas, Valez, Shouting and Sanchez at the back. Braganca and Aquino in the centre with Zeno, Omar and Brian behind the goal-scoring Diallo. Uh, Bogdanovic is nearly back to a little bit of fitness, which is good news. But Gutierrez is suspended as well and can't feature for this one after the recent... Just incredibly rude, isn't it? You're right. I could, I could shut the window. But it's about... 12 degrees and it feels like it's 35 let's play our, let's let's play ball come on Villarreal versus Valencia they've got candle up front not spelt exactly like candle but 43 million pounds he's worth and he's pretty good as well 10 goals in the league of this season scored quite a few last year he's actually quite a consistent goal scorer for them and started at Villarreal that's nice started in the first regen year uh Pascal candle we like that a lot of loyalty from that man uh, no other players that played for us once upon a time no good we can proceed just want to see if there's any vendettas I could have started there viewers but no sadly not all right then the game is underway we of course are wearing our famous whites as you can see here, uh, we're playing the yellow of, oh my word, Brian's done it again, viewers. Three minutes in, away from home, and away goal, of course, not as many travel days required for a game against Villarreal, but a 1-0 lead early on as Aquino's cross is headed in by Brian at the front post, and uh, not as dramatic as the last goal he scored for me, but just as important. A big early away goal, and that brings Villarreal into a position now where they have to go for this a little bit more. I don't, right, the other the other um, semi-final, I just, just remind, I was going to remind ourselves who it was, viewers, we can't, Aquino another corner played in usually I wouldn't care but now we've scored from one I feel locked into this as uh, Villarreal though racing forward on that side countering from our corner we're trying to get back not very very well as Rios well the shot wasn't very good and we are lucky really got a little bit of hair sneaking out of the bottom of the headband sorry viewers that is obviously going to put a lot of people off today as Brian again racing forward this highlight is continuing from when it started earlier on back to Braganka big opportunity Wow! 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 Now, now, viewers, this is not something I would not... That's a very much a stream thing, but we're bringing it into today. What a goal. Braganka with an incredible strike. 2-0 after 16 minutes, and we are cruising. We're a better side than them. We know that. And to draw them there, that is a, such a good goal. We're showing them that we're the better side, and that's what you want to see. We're going to demand even more viewers, even at 2-0 up, as they give the ball straight back to us. This game could be over after the first leg. The amount of way goals we could be scoring. Diallo is not even on the score sheet yet, viewers. It could have been then. Okay, the other semi final is uh, Cagliari versus Milan. An all-Italian battle, as uh, I assume then in this. Did Milan knock out Liverpool? They did. Uh, I'm just reminding my own brain, really, gang. They're not having a brilliant year, though. Fourth in Italy, as uh, Inter do it again. People want to know how Diego was doing recently. I mean, doing it now, viewers. Um, yeah, he's still really good. I still... Oh. Shouldn't have done that. I'm having a lovely time here, and I've, I've upset myself as um, a corner played in by Villarreal. Oh, just wide. That was their biggest chance of the game, and their only real chance of the game so far, as uh, we're looking pretty good. Not our strongest either, but this 2-0 lead we've got is making me very happy indeed. As Rios comes out to claim, will he look for the early ball forward? We've got men there if he wants to find them. He's taking his time a little bit. And uh, eventually launches one up towards Diallo, who won't get that, sadly. And it gives Villarreal a chance to get back on the ball and create something of their own as they go all the way back to the goalkeeper. So far, 
very, very happy. Diallo sna oh, snatched away there and off he goes. He, he did brilliantly defensively to win that ball back. And wow, he, he's up for it, but he's not. I mean, there's a goal there somewhere, right? I mean, they're forward. Villarreal. I tell you what, very, very end to end game here as we have headed it off our own crossbar and they've missed. Goodness me. It's been an all action first half as Zeno is given the opportunity to bring that ball down. Ball towards Diallo. Oh, what a save. Action packed viewers. Lovely stuff. I mean, I'm happy for it to be action packed when, um, when I'm winning. It's, it's like when you go to a shop and it's very busy. You're already at the front of the queue. You don't care how busy it is. You're just en you're enjoying how busy. You're looking around, going, "God, it's busy," and I'm glad that I'm about to pay for my things. Alternatively, you're, you're sat near the changing rooms, waiting for the missus, as I'm going to call her, to uh, get ready to pay after she's tried on the fourth thing for the fourth time. Credit to Elliot, it doesn't happen very often. So I've just I've, I've created a fictional thing there, just to make a joke for you. It's at her expense. Villarreal in on goal, and oh, shit, I just white so many chances. Diallo under that ball heads it on but not to anybody and then closes down really really quickly we know he's got a lot of pace and he was showcasing it there gang I've got to say I don't know if I want this game to be this open I think I'm going to fight fire with fire and go more attacking and just continue to play and trade with them basically for the entire game as Omar picks it up here a third goal and you've got to save you as our progression as Chelsea thought that shut up Ben Candle in on goal he's been there with them for his entire life as it's hit the crossbar and gone wide they have come close a few times now I'm going to bring I'm going to bring him on oh, Brian's having a good game let's put Brian up front and bring Roman on honestly I prefer him there to Pedro and he's a, he's a natural winger youngster love him Diallo on the ball if he could beat his man Diallo if he, if he scores now well I'd kept him on viewers but he's having one of those games where I thought he would score but I think actually what he's doing is just missing lots of chances Aquino and Burkanka sat slightly deeper a goal and assist between them are doing really really well time is ticking away Omar's having a quiet game we're going to bring uh, Akiza on and just see I mean 2-0 is a great result to have to take into the next leg let's face it but we've got to throw in and do you know what's better than 2 0, viewers? Do a quiz. Do you know what's better than 2 0? 3 0. They've got the ball, though, so maybe not. Dorenzo running forward with it, and actually, we're struggling to keep up with him as we eventually force him backwards a little bit. But Villarreal, a bit of an overload on that right hand side. But Zeno on the left hand side of their left hand side, our right hand side, has done really well. Wins the ball back. Can he pull it back towards Brian? He's still got the ball. Can he find Brian? He can, and Brian does the business. Brian, Brian loves business, viewers. He loves it. The Apprentice is his favourite TV show. Thank you, Brian. Valencia 3, Villarreal 0, and and look, 3-0 could be a dangerous scoreline, right, Chelsea fans? So let's not let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But three away goals, that's massive. Bring the second leg on. Bring it to me. I mean, four. Should we do four? A goal for them will give them a little bit of hope, you'd imagine. And again, they're coming forward with it. We're staying attacking. Do you know what? I'm, again, I'm going to try and trade with them. If we can break away once again and find ourselves in a goal-scoring opportunity, that's what we're looking for here. As Villarreal's ball possession and retention is actually very good. But... I don't know. Every single time they've done this, they've made a mistake and we've capitalised. Will that happen again or will this be the time they get the rewards for such good play as uh, they're keeping it very, very tightly, very neatly as well? As uh, we're trying to press the ball, you can see we're trying to win it back. We're trying to create another chance for us as that's the ball, isn't it? Bit, a little bit of space, a little bit of an overload. Looked offside to me as um, they're giving it, viewers, but I'm, I'm not sure about that. I don't know, he looked offside. I guess that, is there VAR? there's no screen over there, so I don't know if there is VAR. To me... He looked a little... Whew, I'll tell you what, that is very, very close. I don't know if they're going to show a replay of how close this is. But, I mean, the lines here, I don't even know what they mean after time viewers. I, that is, I guess, maybe the back foot of Shelton. Villarreal have got themselves a chance. Sorry, boss. Sorry, right, Shelton. It's very, very, very close. I feel awful, boss. This... Shelton, it's going to be fine. There's another game coming up. You can, you know, make things better in that one. What have you said, boss? Brian's in, Shelton. Don't worry. Brian. Oh, we could have made it four. But it ends there then. 3-1 winners. And of course, we will now race towards the second leg. We will miss out the Mallorca game in between. It should be routine. But that was really good. 3-1 away win. Let's see what happened elsewhere. Of course, we know Milan are the danger. And a late Rogers away goal. Cagliari will be kicking themselves, you'd imagine. They've done really well up to that point. And uh, it looks like we may well face Milan. Of course, a former rival of ours in the final but another game to go and let's see how we do because it could just go to it could go to pot viewers so let's just let's bear that in mind and with me on many occasions it has so <laughs> i'll see you in a second brian's just done this against me york viewers i thought i'd share it i thought you'd like it yeah very yeah, good very good right we beat me 2-1 at a lovely holiday but we were at home so oh we've qualified it's done we are in the europa league this is good news okay so if it goes wrong at least we know where we're going to be next season. There's not as much need to ever leave now. They've got, I've got 43 million to spend next season, apparently, which, if true, is not enough, but is is something. Yeah, so we're three games to go. I can't go. I can't go into seventh, and I can't go into fourth. So I'm just. We're just here with Sevilla now. Who can finish higher? 
All right, gang, game two, and we are going to persevere with Brian out on that side, and the rest of the team will remain exactly the same. Gutierrez still not really fair enough for this one, but we'll make the bench at least, and uh, here we go then. The boys again, we've got a lead. Can we now keep that lead and get into the final of the European competition for the first time since the first season? Come on. The Europa League's one thing I've not really failed at too much because we've not really been in it that much, so um, this is a big chance. I say that, viewers. I've absolutely failed it. I failed at it about three times with Dortmund. Good times. Good times. Okay, first chance. Aquino to play the ball in towards Diallo. Zeno's there. And I've got to say, gang, with a four... Okay, it's not even counted. It's an own goal. I thought it hadn't counted. It's an own goal, in fact. And uh, with a 4-1 advantage, I don't think there's going to be... There better not be any bloody fireworks today. It, play, it goes across, and that defender has just headed it into his own net. Zeno put a bit of pressure on him. Not great, viewers. Not great. I mean, good for me. Not, not, not great for him. Ellie's just bought me some lunch as well. Which is, you know, nice an idea of when this is made. Villarreal corner played in. Shelton gets rid. He's a little bit happier than he was last episode. Uh, last episode, last game even. As um, it's really bugging me that that Rios has got number seven. I can't wait to be here long enough to to have a pre season with them, so I can actually give the numbers out because I didn't get to do that last time. And that whole number seven thing is driving me wild, viewers. I'll tell you what, pretty highlightless first half. And I've got to say, if there's no more highlights in the game, I'll be happy about it. As Omar there goes close with a uh, with a free kick. Right, half time. Things are looking very, very good. We should check in on what's happening in Italy and if Milan are doing the job. Well, you can see it down the bottom there, actually. They are 1 0 up. A goal on the stroke of half time. Cagliari know now if they win, win by two goals or they score two goals, they will go through um, with, the, with a more away goal. So they've got a little bit of a job to do. Their game plan really hasn't changed all that much, though. They still have to score two. As uh, Villarreal, forward they come for the first time, really, and Rios goes massive. Big decision to start playing him again at the back end of the season. We had our Black through the tough winter period. We've gone back to Rios, and he's been absolutely. Absolutely brilliant ever since. And there he goes again, like punching it clear, and maybe even setting up an attack as uh, Omar brings this away. Diallo's with him. Another another goal surely seals it, but even now, I feel pretty confident. Brian and Omar combined beautifully. Ball played in, whizzed in, and uh, cleared away by Villarreal. I don't think, no. There we go. Free kick to them. I mean, should I be setting up, should I be, should I be shutting the doors here? Probably. I think there's nothing wrong in being a little bit more cautious. You don't want to invite them on, and of course, they're going to go. In fact, we'll play counter-attacking cautiously as Zeno is racing forward. There may well be a moment here. We won't counter press, but we'll certainly still look to counter as Zeno races forward, gets past this man. Can he pull it back? Goes for goal himself. Half an hour to go and Villarreal need three. In fact, yeah, three. Because they're, yeah, three. They're not doing it, are they? No way. Corner played in and uh, the keeper claims. They've had one shot on target all game. I don't think they're going to score three goals. Oh, we're going to try and break this up now. We're going to be really annoying. Gutierrez is going to come on for, you know, every sort of five or six minutes, I'm going to make another change and just break up the game and be an annoying little manager. Yeah, forward again, though. I mean, one goal for them. We'll give them a little bit of hope. But Gutierrez nips in and the ball, it's just breaking away. Just, they can't get anything going. Dorenzo, great touch away from the marker. Oh, it's got, oh, it's fell to Candle there. They've got a goal. Right, I'm going to go. I'm going to do it. Oh, my off. We're going to go to, in fact, viewers. Yeah, go on then. It's been a while, hasn't it? I've not, I've, I'm going to have to load it. We're shutting the doors, viewers. That's what we're doing right now. We are shutting the doors. We're going Italian. We are seeing this out. And uh, Villarreal, it's been, it's been nice knowing you, but this game is now over. Right, it's locked in. The changes are made. Ten minutes to go. I'll see you at the end. Oh, no. Oh, I just sort of watched it in slow motion, viewers. They've got another one back. Not like this. I mean, I'm gonna. You just. You've got to just trust in the system here, viewers. You've just got to trust that it'll work. As stressful as it's becoming, time ticking away. Villarreal finding no way through. It's not pretty, viewers, but it's done. And we've gone Italian. Valencia one, Villarreal two. I don't know if it changed in Italy, but we will go then to the final of the Europa League. And that then is the is the perfect way to end things. Milan do the business. They will be our opponents. We know how good they are. Hatarden plays for them. Morgan Rogers and uh, Sari is the manager. Although he's got a different name to the, the zebra thing. Um, Milan are decent. They're fourth in the league. Are we, are we as good as them? We're going to find out. We've got some good players. We're going to have to be at our best. I look forward to it though. I really do. A little bit of money in the bank as well as the final. There it is, 27th of May. Uh, later this month, we will play AC Milan and that will be tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's episode though, gang, please do drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe from me, Shouten, and the rest of the boys. We'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Oh, the final. Come on.